Hey yo, Antonio. Whenever you're outside, having to wear glasses and a mask together can only mean one thing. Fog. It's super annoying and there must be a way of getting rid of it. So in this video, I'm going to summarize my experiences on the various methods I use to stop fogging so that you can pick and choose which option would suit you the best. For each method, I'll give you the pros and cons so that it will help you in making the best informed decision. And before we get into it, I would like to say a huge thanks for supporting the channel and the work I do. I'm grateful to be uploading educational videos on this platform to reach an incredible audience in this community. I have many more great videos coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed and pressing a like on this video will be greatly appreciated. My first option was to use masking tape to seal off the path the breath could escape so that my breath gets released from the sides, leaving the glasses free from fog. Setting it up was pretty simple. Cut up a piece of masking tape to cover the width of the mask, apply the tape onto the mask, making sure that it is fully sealed, and then apply it onto the face, starting from the nose and then making your way outwards. And ta-da, there you have it. A setup that is quick and easy. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of an identical frame with and without application. I think the biggest advantage of this method is that it is super cheap and is portable. You can carry masking tape just about anywhere you go and the application is simple and effective. Once you have it secured, an added advantage is that it keeps your mask locked into place, meaning that you don't have to keep adjusting it as you talk. However, this method doesn't come with its downsides. The biggest one being that when removing the mask, it requires peeling the tape off of your face, which kind of hurts and leaves a red mark on your face, which can be annoying. However, a workaround to this problem is simply just raising the mask up rather than removing it, freeing the mouth for a quick bite or a drink. I would rate this method a solid three out of five stars. It's simple, effective, and affordable. However, the drawbacks from having to rip out your face every time makes it an unsustainable solution. On to the next option, the Zeiss Anti-Fog Wipes. Gentle cleaning with added fog protection. I bought these on Amazon. Fogging can be particularly problematic in the mornings or in colder environments as the lens being cold turns the outside moisture or the steam from your breath into a liquid forming tiny droplets that impair your vision. This wipe works by applying a thin layer of a hydrophilic solution over the glasses, therefore fine droplets of water are spread out across the lens rather than obscuring your vision. It says to repeat daily or as needed to ensure a clean and fog-free experience. Setting this up was also quite easy. First, make sure you clean the lens surface of any smudges before applying the wipe for the best results. And if you're unsure of how to clean your glasses, then I would recommend watching this video. And two, take the wipe from the packet and gently rub until dry. It's surprisingly very effective. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of an identical frame with and without application. The biggest advantage of this wipe is that it is discreet and super effective. A quick wipe over your glasses and they should be fog free for a few days, although the box does say repeat daily. It can be used on pretty much anything from your glasses all the way up to your camera lenses and even your optometry equipment. My favorite part is that they are not super expensive. I bought a box of 150 wipes on Amazon for like $27. That's 18 cents a wipe. I can go an entire day easily without having to worry about fog impairing my vision on my glasses and my instruments. But what are some downsides of using this method? The biggest one is that the wipes are barely soaked in solution. They almost feel completely dry out of the packet. When wiping my glasses with it, I have to wipe at least a few extra times just to make sure that I've done it correctly. The second downside is that you must reapply the wipes every time you clean your glasses with a microfiber cloth. And when considering how smudgy glasses can get when your mask constantly rubs against them, having to carry multiple wipes in a bag is an inconvenience. 
I would rate this method four out of five stars. It's incredibly effective at stopping fog buildup and they exceeded my expectations in doing so. But having to reapply the wipes every time I clean my glasses can be frustrating. And I would love for Zeiss to include more solution in the wipes as some of them honestly feel like they don't have any solution in them. Like I wouldn't get a single droplet even if I squeezed it really hard. There must be a better solution. Next on the list we have the Zeiss Anti-Fog Kit which comes with an anti-fog spray and a cleaning cloth which I also grabbed from Amazon for $15. They work in the same way as the Zeiss Anti-Fog Wipes by applying a thin hydrophilic layer to stop any droplets from forming. The application is stress free. First, clean your glasses from any dust or smudges. Second, spray both sides using the Zeiss Anti-Fog Spray and lastly, wipe the solution away using the cleaning cloth included in the box. There are some really nice things I can say about the spray. One is that they just work, and two is that the application is a breeze. One spray is more than enough to cover the entire lens surface, and the included cleaning cloth is greatly appreciated as it does an excellent job of leaving the lens streak free. I've been carrying this in my backpack for the last few months and I honestly don't know what I would be doing without it. Not only have I been applying these on my own set of glasses, but I was also able to use them on the Phoropter and even a slit lamp. And honestly, this product has been an absolute godsend. Applying the spray onto my equipment has made optometry completely fog free and I'm able to carry this little pack in my backpack and use it time and time again. And no, this is not sponsored by Zeiss. Although being sponsored by Zeiss would be pretty cool. And it wouldn't change my opinion on it anyway. I would rate this method a solid 5 out of 5 stars. It's effective, discreet, affordable, and portable. One thing I know for sure is that I'll be using the spray until the day we stop wearing masks completely. But that just about summarizes the three methods I use to remove fog from my glasses. And I'm sure that there are many other methods out there. So why don't you tell me in the comment section below what genius ideas you have come up with? I'd be interested to find out how creative you have all gotten. Not the most educational video, but if you've learned something new or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.